Welcome back to the Pink Trail Show. We have a very special guest joining us today, Chris Bailey, mm -hmm. an Arkansas sprinter. But just yesterday, you broke an Arkansas record, yes. um, a pretty big one as well in the 400 meter. Your mm -hmm. time of 4509 not only leads the world right now, but also broke that Arkansas record, like I was saying. What was it like running that race, and, and how did you feel after you saw your time? Um, I was felt, felt pretty good during the race. Um, not exactly in a position that I wanted to be in, but, um, you know, circumstances changed, and once I seen my opportunity to take it, I just took it. You went up to, against some great competition as well. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of the other uh, guys running in that as well? Yes, um, there were two guys from Florida, Ryan Willie and um, Emmanuel Bemadele. Um, given Florida's, you know, rain, um, especially from last year, winning uh, outdoor championships and having that fantastic 4x4, four four, um, I knew it was going to be a, a great race. Um, also having Justin Robinson from Arizona State, who is um, also a well-known sprinter in the um, track and field community. Um, I just knew that them guys are fast, and I wasn't really going to win the break with them. So I just, you know, stayed patient and, you know, um, took my opportunity when I had to. What was going through your mind at the end when you kind of see the time and you're going, wait, wait yeah. that was it? That was mm -hmm. my time? <laughs> yeah, um, I was shocked. Um, I kind of looked at the clock a little too early, so I probably could have shaved a few milliseconds off my time, but um, <laughs> it was still an amazing time nonetheless. I mean, I've been waiting four years to actually run an individual event indoor, and um, getting, especially getting back to the 400, coming off a good 600 from two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just very excited and shocked. You, when you saw your time, were you, did you know at that point that it broke an Arkansas record and was the world leading Ooh, time? Um, I knew it was the world leading time. I didn't know I broke the record. Um, I thought the record was a little faster. Um, but yeah, the world leading time, I, I, knew, I knew about that one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what, when, you, when you found out that you had done both of those things, what was your reaction? Uh, pretty much the same thing, just shocked and amazed. Like, it was four years in the making. And um, I knew it was coming eventually. It just had to be patient. Did you know you could do it? Yes. Why? Yes. Uh, just I just knew Coach Case, you know, uh, Coach Buck. They just always instilled it in me every day, um, just reassuring that you know uh, my time is coming, and you know whenever it comes, just I just got to strike, take the opportunity. And you run the four by four as well. Yes. And you had to run that race after you broke this record yes. and had the world leading time, the four hundred meter. Mm -hmm. What was it like going into that race after? Do, you know, kind of running that and, and breaking a record and doing all that. Yeah, um, the tension was a little uh, at ease because I knew um, I had some great teammates, you know, to uphold me. So um, not really as stressed as it was for the individual event because the relay is always, you know, it's not an individual event at the end of the day. You have a team that you have to, uh, you know, um, hold up. So we just kind of carried each other along throughout the entire relay to get through it. That's awesome. What is your goals for this season specifically and with the Razorbacks? Um, individually, I want to contend for some national championships and also as a team. I mean, we have a spectacular team this year, and I don't honestly see us losing any national championships. Really? Mm -hmm. what, why do you say that? What about this year's team is so special? Just the depth. I mean, um, transferring from Tennessee, you know, a lot of us came here. So um, just seeing those guys who have uh, broken many records and, you know, obtained some national championships just just last year themselves. Um, and then also having the people that were also here prior to us arriving, you know, just bringing those, to, bringing those components together is really what's going to um, get us those national championships. And so. you transferred here from Tennessee. What do you love so yes. much about Arkansas and running for the Razorbacks? Um, I mean, as I said before, track and field capital of the world. You know, you can't beat it. So. You really can't. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at this, the storied history mm -hmm. of the program, yep. and I mean, why wouldn't you want to come here, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly my yeah. answer as well. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, no Chris, problem. and good luck for the rest of the season. We'll have much more Pig Drill coming up after the break. <laughs>